what's up guys dynamic tech here welcome back to a brand new video of 2022 and since it is the first day so i would like to wish you a big happy new year in this video i'm gonna explain a full in-depth guide of the amd radeon software for amd gpus and apus so stay tuned to enjoy Okay, so first we have to open AMD Radeon software. You have to right click anywhere and if using Windows 11, then you have to go to show more options. Click on it and on the top you will see AMD Radeon settings. If you don't see AMD Radeon settings on your right click panel, then you will have to install the AMD Radeon driver from the official AMD website. If you want to detect your driver according to the app then you can download the auto detect driver and if you want to save time then you can manually submit your model number and gpu in the website and you can also download the driver by your own after opening amd radeon settings let's head toward the gaming section and into the global settings here you have to click on reset if you have messed up any settings here and the default settings will be applied so the first one we got here is anti-aliasing mode anti-aliasing is the technology which is used to smoothen rough edges of the resolution scale in any game the next one we got is anti-aliasing method you can choose the technology for which method should it work for the next one is morphological filtering Morphological filtering reduces the noise on textures of any game you play in graphics. The next one is anisotropic filtering mode. Anisotropic filtering is also called as texture filter but for a distance view. Anisotropic filtering is more advanced technology than texture filter because it filters textures among a distance. The next one is texture filtering. We all know about this quality and technology and the next one is surface format optimization it is only used in radeon graphics cards because the radeon gpus use their own technology to initialize and manipulate the surface format the next one is the vertical refresh it means the game would run according to your monitor's refresh rate the next one is opengl triple buffering opengl triple buffering increases and decreases the speed of the game according to the fps on your monitor the next one is tessellation mode you should set this to amd optimized because tessellation creates the data and files of the game and put it back into the game so we got global graphics settings in this section and in the next section we have global overdrive we can overclock our AMD GPUs and APUs from this section without using any third-party software. I'm right now using AMD Radeon HD 6570, so I have the maximum GPU clock of 804 megahertz and memory clock of 960 megahertz. Your GPU may vary with model number. If you want to play games on AMD GPUs in full graphical details, then apply these settings. Click on anti-aliasing mode and override this setting. From here, set it on 8x and anti-aliasing filtering to hdetect. Anti-aliasing method to super sampling. Turn on morphological filtering. And stopping filtering mode should be 16x and texture filtering quality should be high software format optimization should be on vertical refresh is up to you if you want to set it up then the frames would be according to your monitor's refresh rate and if you turn it off then the game would run on their own fps open gel triple buffering is also up to you the tessellation mode should be amd optimized because it will give you better graphics with better performance and if you want to play games in average performance with average graphics then apply these settings click on anti-aliasing mode overrise application settings and set this to 2x 
and the anti-aliasing filter will automatically be set on standard. Anti-aliasing method should be multi-sampling, morphological filtering should be off, anisotropic filtering should be 4x, texture filtering quality should be standard, surface format optimization should always be on because if you want better graphics this should be on better performance this should be on and this should also be on on balanced as we talked about previous vertical refresh is up to you as well as opengl triple buffering amd tessellation mode should be overrided in this section and the maximum tessellation level should be 32x and if you want to play games on full performance and potential then apply following settings anti-aliasing mode should be on use application settings and you should disable anti-aliasing mode in the application or game you are playing the anti-aliasing method should be multi-sampling morphological filtering should be off anisotropic filtering should be also at use application settings texture filtering quality should be at performance software format optimization as i said before always on wait for vertical refresh is up to you as well as opengl triple buffering tessellation mode should be amd optimized if you have to get full performance and fps in games and if you want to set these settings according to each game then you can manually add your game like i did with these both games you can click on add button and from here you can scan or browse your computer for games and then click on the game and the game should be added in this list you can test the settings for specific games and let's see how they works as you can see the settings for devil may cry is different and for tekken 7 is different hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did then give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe the channel and let me know in the comments what do you think about this video see you in the very next video till then take care happy new year